Okay, we're back. Time for another look at the AFC playoff race heading into week five. If you want to know exactly where your fantasy football team stands and have all sorts of geeky data to share with the league, check out the Playoff Computer app on the Play Store. It is what is being used for the base of this analysis. And fair warning, this is a results-driven mathematical analysis. The computer doesn't know which teams are supposed to be good or bad. The calculations are based on actual results so far. With that being said, the team in the AFC with the highest statistical chance to make the playoffs is, of course, We're number one. the We're only number one. remaining We're undefeated one. team in the AFC, the Kansas City Chiefs. They lead the division by two games after escaping against the Chargers. That is the largest lead in the NFL. But with all three other teams sitting at 500 and technically in the picture, things are a little evened out. Still, the Chiefs are a little bit over 50% to win the division and now 8 out of 10 to make the playoffs in the mathematical odds department. Three of their four wins have been within the conference, with one of them being a division game for the little extra boost. A couple of possibly tough tests coming up. Saints this week, then they're by, then the 49ers. Computer's current guess for the Chiefs to win the AFC West is to get to at least 10 wins for a chance with 12 wins all but guaranteeing it. With 9 or 10 wins being the mark to shoot for to get a wild card in the AFC. That means the Chiefs likely just need to finish 6 and 7 here on out to be in the postseason. In the number two spot are the Strouds, leading the AFC South with just really just the Colts to worry about. Seemingly only having competition from one team for the division along with the early 2-0 division start, not to mention one of those wins was over that other team, does put the Texans division odds above 50-50 with 70% to make the playoffs. Guesstimate for the Texans to win the division is to get to at least nine wins, with 11 being the safe mark. Big game with the Bills this week at home, Packers in a couple weeks, and then an early opportunity to sweep the season series with those Colts and effectively lock up an extra game lead on them. Coming in at number three are the Buffalo Bills licking their wounds after a beatdown from the Ravens to give them their first blemish. Fortunately for them and their odds, everyone else in the AFC East also lost, which the disarray of the other teams in the division might be their best attribute, with only the Jets seemingly having the occasional capability to compete. Gives the Bills a 50-50 chance for the division and two out of three to make the playoffs. As with most of the other division leaders, the Bills need to aim for at least nine wins with 11 likely being safe. That big game, big game against the Texans this week and then go visit the Jets. So in this year's NFL, it's anyone's guess whether they will be 5-1, and 3-3, three and three, or 4-2 and two after those. Rounding out the division leaders at number four on the list are the Pittsburgh Steelers. Looks like the Ravens will be indeed joining them in the competition for the division. Remains to be seen whether the Browns and Bengals will be a threat. Side note, there is yet to be an AFC North division game, so nobody has any real tiebreaker advantages for the division. Same 9-11 to win target for the Steelers to shoot for. Some interesting games coming up for them. Cowboys at home this week, then the Raiders in Vegas, then back home for the two New York clubs. Kind of a who's who of multiple personality disorder opponents there. Certainly seems reasonable that they would be happy with 6-2 and two going into their Week 9 bye. Note, after that Jets game, they would already be done with five of the six non-division conference games for the year.
leading the two and two teams in statistical odds to make the playoffs are those New York JETS. Uh, well coached loss. Wait, how did that word well get in there? To the Broncos, kept them from sharing their division lead. The Jets are 2 1 in the conference and looks like they won't have much competition in chasing the Bills. Gives them a little bit of a jump over the other two and two teams. 28% chance to take the division, slightly under even odds to make the playoffs. The bad news for them is they haven't exactly had the toughest schedule to date, and that's about to even up. Vikings, Bills, and Steelers up next. They might be ecstatic coming out of that at just three and four. Number six belongs to the Baltimore Ravens. Nice demolishing of the previously unbeaten Bills. Gets them back to even after the 0-2 start. Play the Bengals this week in Cincinnati. So either the Bengals will be practically knocked out or we will have the two of them sitting at 2-3 and three and putting a smile on the face of the Steelers. Afterwards, they play the Commanders and Buccaneers, so a couple of the surprising NFC teams in their near future. Colts at number 7. 2-2 two two after beating the Steelers to get back in the AFC South fight. Do have that loss to the Texans. They might need to avenge. Basically back to where they started the season as far as chances. 1-4 to win the division and 45% to make the playoffs. Jonathan Taylor injury aside. An excellent chance to rack up some wins. Jaguars, Titans, Dolphins coming up next before that rematch against the Strouds. In the exact middle of the pack at number eight are the Broncos, winners of their last two after beating the Jets. They are the only AFC West team that hasn't played a division game, but that will end real soon. Raiders and Chargers at home for the next two. So we'll see who, if anyone, in the division will be challenging the Chiefs in a moment. The Chargers next after that heartbreaking loss to the Chiefs to knock them two back in the division and spoil their 2-0 start. They are going to try to regroup this week with the start of the bye weeks before that game against the Broncos. Next up and finishing out the AFC West 2-2 two two club are the Las Vegas Raiders. They have the one division loss to the Chargers, which puts them below the other 2-2 two two teams in the division here. That is sort of offset by two conference wins. The big game against the Broncos this week before a bruiser against the Steelers. Sounds like they might already be thrown in the towel, though. Moving on to the one-win teams, the Tennessee Titans statistically lead this group, which isn't exactly praise. No division game so far, and even in the conference, means the damage of three losses wasn't compounded. 16% to win the division and 28% to make the playoffs. They have their bye this week before coming back with a make-or-break game against the Colts at home. And then travel to play the Bills and Lions. So yeah, win against the Colts is almost a must to stay in this picture. The Cincinnati Bengals finally got on the win board and are number 12 on our list. 0-2 in the conference, not helping though. 14% to win the division and 27 to make the playoffs. That huge division game against the Ravens this week, 1-4 is not a good place. Do have the Giants and Browns, so afterwards. And although it's still early, the rest of a season schedule doesn't currently look terribly difficult, so I won't say this is must win. Sorry, Cleveland, you are three from the bottom of the barrel, although essentially tied with the Bengals odds-wise if you want to look at it as a glass a quarter full. Maybe another team facing make or break this week. Play the now exciting Commanders, then the Eagles, Bengals, Ravens after that. So probably another team in a must-win this week situation.
The New England Patriots are on a three-game losing streak and are down to a 12% chance to win the division and one out of four to make the playoffs. Not that many are expecting great things from them, but they do have the Dolphins this week, and then after the Texans, they get the Jaguars, Jets, and Titans. So it isn't completely insane to say they have at least decent odds to be sitting at 4-4 four and four in a few weeks. The Dolphins come in one from the bottom after getting sliced and diced by the previously winless Titans. Have that game with the Patriots this week, so one of them will be 2-3 and three in the week's time and sort of in the picture, and the other not so much. And they have their bye. Lastly, the Jacksonville Jaguars. Not much to say. 0-4. All four losses have been conference games. I'll have another one with the Colts this week. Being 0-4, the computer says at a minimum they would have to go 9-4 the rest of the way to have any chance at making the playoffs. If you can find somebody wanting to bet that line, I'll take the under as well. That is it for the AFC picture for now. Enjoy your day.